right, this is your friendly neighborhood surveyor, and I've gotten questions about five by fives. I think the question was, um, why do people do five by fives for building corners? So let's go for like staking first. Um, let's pretend like this red line is a curb or, yeah, just say curb. And this is a five foot offset. This is curb. This is our hub or our nail or whatever, five foot offset. To our curb and if you're outside outside the line as you get to the angle point it's still going to be five foot offset it may be labeled uh five foot offset angle point back because it's back on this line and then when you continue down this line um this will be angle point ahead angle point ahead because it's going ahead to this line here so if you were to strap this in, five, five, you can set that point. And you know you can put yourself on line going down this way on this line and line that way. Or you know this doesn't have to be a ninety degree angle. Uh, but in this you know this example is kind of square. But that's how we um, normally you will see even on building corners we'll do a we'll do a five foot offset. To like the building corner of the building envelope on one line and um, a five foot offset on the building corner or building envelope on the other side so if this was our building envelope let's say or it's just a square building um, yes normally we would have double five foot offsets on each corner and they can just string through those, pull their five feet, and voila, you get four corners. What we've been running into is, um, it all depends on what that contract says. So if we're subcontracted out um, by, uh, by an engineer, and the contract says two um, stakes per, per home, let's say, we may just go give them a five foot offset on this line. So one here, one here, and they have to build it. Uh, if the contract is negotiated for four corners, you know, then it's it, 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 it's kind of, or um, four stakes per, um, per a building or per house. You know, that's where communication helps out, where you talk to the, you know the guys are going to be um, forming up the forming up the um, pad and or the foundation and find out how how they want those four. So a lot of, um, a lot of times people will do five by fives and or three by threes, whatever, uh, and that's. I think people in the trade who have been in the trade for a long time, forming up homes, know what a five by five is. We're running across a lot now where uh, people don't know how to read our stakes. They don't know how um, to convert inches into hundredths. And um, they have no clue what this five by five means. So all it means, and if you're a surveyor, you already know what this means, but this is for everybody else. So what it means is it's five feet, kind of a production of this line, five feet and five feet out. Normally we do five by fives or three by threes inside the corner. So it'd be five feet by five feet to set that or five feet by five feet to set that. But I think the question I had is um, for building corners, and if they were building corners, you know, unless there was a zero lot line, you know, you'd have to stake it inside the corner. But um, I've seen five by fives being set outside, and that's that's what, um, or that's how they would have to reconstruct it. You could, if, if this was our point here, you can actually just run a line here. Same thing, run a line to here. And you'd have a five foot offset around the whole building. Then you could, on that line, so let's say you, I don't know, set batter boards or a string line, whatever, you can go your five feet 
and you can come back five feet. Same thing, five feet, come back five feet, check your distance, you know, whatever you're gonna hold, put the slop in the front and slop in the back, whatever you guys do. But um, I, I, I think it's um, regional how people use five by fives or three by threes or, or whatever you're using. But it is just make sure you understand it's not five feet from there to there. It is five by five. This, you have to solve that triangle. That's 707. Um, so you have to solve, solve that triangle. I can, um, you know, you can always make a little cheat sheet. A, um, let's see, right here. Five by five equals 707. If you were to double that, 10 by 10, then it's 14, 14. Um, you just gotta know how to solve a triangle, which is, that's your right triangle, sorry for the drawing. Um, this is a good way to check your math. Three, four, five. So the formula, so if this is your slope, I like using A for altitude, B for the base, C for your um, hypotenuse or your diagonal. So it's, um, so it'd be A square plus B square equals square root of C. So three times three is nine plus four times four. 16 equals 25, square root of 25 is five. So that's how you put it in a calculator. And to make sure that you um, are doing it right, run it through a three, four, five triangle, and that's how you'll get your answer. But if, if I understand the question correctly, why do people put five by fives outside of building corners if they're not on the inside? Then um, you know it's probably it's probably in the contract. They're probably finding out, or uh, it's they're only allowed four stakes per per house, and they probably feel that's the most efficient way to do it. Uh, maybe all the other people that have formed up homes um, on their other job sites, that's what they requested, so that's been easier for them. But um, that's why. So like on our curb example, you know, sometimes curb goes all, all different directions. And so like uh, this right here, if we we're staking on the outside, then we come to an inside corner, then we would put a five by five there. Cause if we do a five foot offset this way, they're gonna trench through that. So a lot of times on inside corners, why we give a five by five or a three by three, whatever it is, uh, it's so that they don't trench through it. You know, here's the other example. So coming up this way and that way, it's still a five foot offset, but you can't put a five foot offset here and you can't put a, um, yeah, you can't continue the line that way. Just like you can't put a five foot offset there because that's where the curb would be going. So you stay on that five foot offset line by putting in a five by five, five by five. Five by five. That's 707. I hope that helps. Uh, and I try to make this as short as possible, but sometimes you just can't help going over. All right, survey on.